What's up? We are back. Okay, got a hold of Joe during the break. <laughs> no, he missed the call, so that's fantastic stuff. We'll call Joe now. He knows. Got him, got him during the commercial break. It's fantastic stuff. So let's dial him up now. Let's get it going. There we go. Waiting for the, waiting for Mr. Joe Kelly Jr. of the St. Louis Cardinals. Hello. Hey, Joe. What's up, Beaver? Here, man. How you doing? Good. How are you doing? Not too bad, Joe. Hey, pleasure having you on, man. You're the first MLB player I've had on. I've had N I've had NHL guys on. I've had NFL guys, but never MLB pitchers. So you're the first, man. <laughs> <laughs> no problem at all. I know how you, you have here in the line, Joe Kelly Jr. from the St. Louis Cardinals. I know, Joe, um, your rookie year at St. Louis, I know. You were in the Myers originally. Take, Joe, tell me, Joe, you were in the Myers at first. What was it like, what was it like to be called up at first? Like, where, where, where were you thinking when you first got called to the Cardinals <laughs> earlier this year, Joe? What was that like for you? It was pretty special. Um, there was rumors floating around on the Internet about uh, St. Louis needing a uh, picture to be called up and uh, my name happened to pop up and... I was getting all these calls and texts, and like before I even got called up, like, "Hey, you gonna get called up?" And I had no idea. Um, I was in Reno, Nevada, and uh, <laughs> the cops called me down on on the hotel phone and, and, and told me to come down to his room, and and he said, "Hey, man, congratulations! You just, uh, St. Louis is calling you up. You're gonna be pitching on Sunday." <laughs> um, he gave me my paperwork. And he was like, "You're flying out in two hours," and he just uh, wished me good luck. But it was, it was uh, something special. It's something you've been working for your whole life, and, and it was an honor. And uh, it was. It was pretty amazing that uh, it happened so quick. Of course, were you nervous at all? Because I know a lot of guys, you know, a lot of guys playing the minors, you know, 10, 15 years, no reach a major. So, I mean, what was it like for you that first game to get in the mound? Were you, were you nervous? Were you thinking, wow, I'm in the MLB. What was that like for you, the first game, Joe? Yeah, um, like you said, guys, spend five to eight years in the minors, never getting a chance or opportunity to get called up. And uh, I try to take it all in, um, try to remember everything going on. I have guys telling me, like, hey, it's going to go by quick. Um, just try to take it all in and, and relax out there and have fun. Uh, the first game, I, I, I wasn't too nervous. It felt like another start until I think it was like the second inning. It kind of hit me that um, I was pitching in the major, in the major league and, and uh, kind of got nervous there for a little bit. But um, I ended up having a pretty good outing and, and, and uh, I had some good veterans around me to, to calm me down and help me get through that process. Of course, and you mentioned veterans. I know you got Molina there, you got Alan Craig, you got a lot of guys there. You know, the big thing with the Cardinals is that you guys people were, t were saying, you know, oh, no more pools. Well, that'll be like, a, well, um, our pools. But I mean, you guys had a great year. You go to the NLDS. I mean, you know, you go five and seven. And one thing, you you made a name for yourself. I know you you were on Sports Center in the states and up here, of course, for your tumble on first base. <laughs> but, I mean, you made a you made a name for yourself in your first year. So what was it like just being around the Cardinals for that long, Joe? What was it like that first year here? That's right. And what did you learn from the other pitchers in the bullpen? Like, what did other pitchers teach you? Like, what did you learn from veteran guys in that Cardinals organization? What have they taught you in your first, in your rookie season, Joe? Um, these guys are awesome. Uh, when I was starting, I had Adam Wainwright, Chris Carpenter, um, Kyle Loesch, uh, Jake Westbrook. I mean, we all go out and uh, all these guys pay attention to everything you do. So every time I throw a bullpen, all the other starters were down there trying to help me. And uh, they saw something wrong mechanically or pitch-wise, they would nitpick and be the conversate with each other and, and to try to see what was going through my head and going through their head. And, um, it was just like having a bunch of like probably like four out of five other pitching coaches that have eyes on you all the time. So it was like having five pitching coaches really. And uh, I mean, these guys are so good. We got former side young winners. And uh, it, it was good to just listen to what they had to say and, how, and, and I kind of just watched them and see how they went about their business. That must have been great. Of course, you know, you mentioned you know, the first game, like the first game, like, or the start after your first game, though. I mean, 
when when the Kings were rocking up, though, do you start thinking to yourself, man, this is kind of easy, you know, when you when you're striking guys out, game in, game out. <laughs> Yeah, it was fun. I mean, I, it was... yeah. I'll see. What were there any guys though? Are there, are there been a guy so far, Joe? Where you've thought like, oh my gosh, I'm pitching to so and so. Have you had that yet at all, Joe? Or no? Has there been a guy that you've been in awe of pitching to? <laughs> I had with uh, I had with Ryan. Uh, he's been my first starting Sam, and and uh, but with uh, I had uh, a camp. Um, just, just a couple of big name guys, and, and I was like, oh wow, I'm pitching with them. And uh, I mean, after that, I pitched them, it was like, yeah, they're good. But I've only had a couple, like, uh, like a couple big league moments like that when, when uh, my last year, my first year. Nice, nice. I know one thing, Joe, I mean, one thing about pitchers is that, you know, the stigma is that pitchers are guys, you know, oh, they don't focus on their batting very much. You're one of the guys in the majors who you take pride in your batting. I watch you bat. I mean, you can hit for a pitcher. I mean, it's refreshing, Joe. Hit, hit all right. <laughs> no, definitely as fresh. I didn't in. perform as high as I could. I, I mean, I had chances, and, and I didn't hit as well as I thought I would. Uh, maybe next year it would be a little better, but, I mean, in the minors, I was, you know, I think around 280, 283, and, and I feel like I was a pretty decent hitter. I mean, I'm, I can put the bat on the ball, and then I, I can run a little bit, so that's what helps. Uh, I just slap something in the infield and, and then run it out, but I did hit a home run foul by six inches in one of my games. And <laughs> <laughs> really? Uh, I'm looking for that next, I'm looking for that next year. Hopefully I can get my first uh, career big league home run next year. Yeah, hopefully. I mean, I'm watching you, watching you in the mount, watching you in the batter's box. I mean, I mean, for a pitcher, you're one of the faster guys in the league. I mean, to watch you leg out singles and doubles. I mean, I'm, I'm just impressed. I mentioned your, your tumble earlier in the year. I know the game against the Dodgers. One thing, I guess, the big thing is that you were safe. That was what I'm sure you care about the fact that you were safe on that play. <laughs> yeah, it, it, yeah, it was a big game. Um, I'm, I'm, I think I'm probably right now. I don't know if we have. Anyone that's too fast anymore. I think I might be the fastest on the team now. Really? Uh, Tyler Green was one of our other fast guys, but uh, it's something I take pride in. I, I work on my speed and training all the time, and, and, and I like to stay athletic. Because, I mean, pitchers, they always say pitchers aren't athletic, but I think the more athletic you are on the mound, the, the more success you'll have. No, of course, of course. As the year went on, I know you, I mentioned the playoffs. I mean, what was it like, you know, being around that series, being around the club in that series against Washington? Because that was an absolute battle where you guys went to five games to move on to play San Francisco. Yeah, uh, I mean those guys were there last year. They were down the two strikes, two outs, and uh, I think they were down five runs in, in that game five. And, and uh, I mean, it looked like no one gave up. I mean, we had Adam uh, go out there and, and not pitch as well as he could, but uh, we had guys coming in and step up and, and play the role. Um, I mean, all the veterans weren't, weren't, weren't afraid to lose. Uh, they were just saying, "Hey, why not? Let's make this as a comeback. Let's do it again." And, and guys bought into it. And uh, once we got a little bit of life, we get that. Um, that, that whole thing going, and, and you don't, and I feel like we are uh, pretty pretty good once you get everyone buying in the same thing. Nice. Of course, of course, now I guess your mind is now focused on 2013 spring training, just getting back on the mound to try and take your own fish business now, or Joe. Nice, nice. I know, I know Joe, we had to do this pretty quick. I know um, I know it's not cheap to do a call from Cali, do from Corona to Edmonton. But, Joe, man, hope we can do one again. A little longer next time, though, but Joe's been an absolute blast. And of course, God, thank you, Trent and Dave Constant, for getting, me, getting you on my show, man. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And uh, hope all the success to you. And uh, have a good show. Nice, man. Hey, say, say to your brother Nolan for me, too, man. Say to Nolan for me. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, thanks, Joe.